Good morning readers. I, Harish Budhu, warmly welcome you to my channel. Learn as much as possible. From my handwritten articles. Open letter to His Lordship, Chief Justice, Azraf Khan High, Supreme Court. Part 5. This 19th of May 2020. Last part tomorrow, Judiciary Closer to Realities. The courts must step up their court management skills to eliminate delays and reduce costs, reform of the system is overdue and needs urgent attention. Your Lordship. A. A very warm welcome to this fifth part of the series of letters. I think that it is the first time that a citizen is writing so many to a Chief Justice, Prime Minister or Commissioner of Police. We. Mauritians, do not have a culture of writing or voicing our feelings or opinions openly. More so, very few can summon up courage to tell those in power, where the shoe really pinches hard, in their systems, or where things are going wrong. It takes guts. But history is witness, I have been informing and warning the authorities, ever since I am in politics. That is my forte. Be just on passant. A few more points will be appropriate on the collective culture and psyche of the population. We should be a nation of great readers. If so, we will not be scared to voice our feelings when there is an abuse of power and responsibility. We will not be afraid to write, speak out, and denounce. We will not be solely guided by personal gains and material goods, possessions, wealth, rewards and what not. We should become a nation of great readers to act collectively, forcefully and quickly, when abuses, extremes, excesses, etc. reach epidemic proportions. Let us hope that culture will come very soon. In our own lifetime. See yet a few more findings. It was one of the most difficult periods of my life when I had led a campaign against the mafia of the judicial system. It had lasted some four years. Forget about the reign of terror. Let slip from your memory the pain and suffering inflicted on me and my close ones. I was used to all those horrors. I was fighting, for the public, for the victims of the mafia, for a better judiciary, and you name it. The response from the public, especially the suffering lot, was poor. My public meetings on political and other cheap matters attracted ten times more crowds. Politics being the national sport. Notwithstanding. History tells us that I was instrumental in bringing lots of positive changes, in the judicial system. The law to protect sale by levy victims is but one of them. And the rest is but history. Only heaven knows how I had succeeded. D. All told, yet another honest revelation now. Our own readers mostly are more interested to read about political affairs, politicians, scandals, spicy stories, than on issues relating to books, moral values, civic duties, judicial system, etc. We do not blame them. It is the Mauritian personality. Nonetheless, we will not put an end to our mission. The mantra is stop not till the goal is reached. E here under are but three more points, from yesterday's preface of S. P. Sarth on the book of St. Gita R. Hewer, which need to be highlighted for the benefit of our readers. 1. Public interest litigation, pill, can cause disillusionment if it lingers on for an inordinately long period. The courts must step up their court management skills to eliminate delays and reduce costs. 2. The government and the parliament in India cannot afford to remain oblivious to the needs and aspirations of the people in India to have an economical, efficient and expeditious system of justice. Reform of the mainstream system is overdue and needs urgent attention. 3. There are other alternatives to courts such as tribunals, arbitrators, and lacadlats. Such alternatives must be strengthened so as to reduce the burden on the courts. F. We will hopefully conclude the series of letters tomorrow. A word of caution to our readers. Listen. You now form part of our life. We live and breathe but for you, so to speak. We have called a spade a spade, in the opening paragraphs. We have been blunt but honest. We have spoken the plain though painful truth, on the collective Mauritian culture. That of not reading enough. That of not acting collectively to stop abuses. That of not paying attention to our outdated and snail's pace judiciary. 
meant only for the powerful rich. All said, do not take them badly. To be continued. Keep reading, keep learning. Like and subscribe for more thrilling articles. Thank you for watching.